today we're going to be making a spaghetti carbonara. So first of all, I'm going to crack an egg into a bowl here and I'm going to make sure that there's no shell in there and that the egg isn't off before continuing on. I'm just going to beat that up with a fork and then next I'm going to add in 15 mils of double cream. Now I have got here lower in fat double cream because this week we have been looking at diet related diseases and how we can help reduce these risks and so by using 50% less fat double cream or light double cream this is going to reduce our total fat of this dish which fat if we have too much of in our diets provides us with provides us with energy but if we don't burn off the extra these extra energy then the excess energy would get stored in our body as fat and if over time that continues it would lead to obesity and with obesity comes lots of other diet related diseases and health risks we could be more at risk of bowel disease strokes type 2 diabetes and coronary heart disease. We would also be more at risk of having mental health problems as well, such as depression, because we might feel low self-esteem. Now, next I added in some parmesan, which is a really good strong flavour of cheese for this dish, and then I am cutting up bacon. Now, we have made a change in our recipe from this bacon to low-fat chicken. And by swapping from bacon to chicken, chicken is a much leaner source of meat. Uh, it contains less saturated fat than bacon. And a diet high in saturated fat will increase cholesterol in the diet, which clogs our arteries, which could increase our risk of heart disease. So by changing to chicken rather than using bacon, we're going to reduce our risk of coronary heart disease as well as chicken also contains less salt content than a uh, bacon. So by reducing our total salt content, we are at less risk of having high blood pressure, which could lead to strokes in later life. So you would do this process exactly the same. Adding your chicken to fry it off. In my other pan, I have got a pot of uh, boiling water on the go there. Where once I seen the big popping bubbles, I added in my spaghetti and we have made a substitute to normal spaghetti to whole grain variety of spaghetti. That will increase our dietary fibre content, which is needed to help remove waste from the body. And by increasing our dietary fibre content, removing waste from the body, it can help to reduce the risk of constipation and in long term bowel cancer. So once you think your pasta is ready it should be soft and you should be able to drain that safely over the sink and you're going to add that straight into the pan with your chicken or if you've used bacon then your bacon and you're going to mix that around and then what you're going to do is you're going to remove your pan from the heat, let it cool down for a little minute. And then you're going to add all the contents of your bowl. So that's your cream, your egg and your parmesan. Now the reason why we don't add it straight away to the pan is because it would be too warm and your egg would start to set. So it would set really quickly and it would... Um, turn into almost like scrambled eggs and your pasta. So you want to just give it a little minute, then add your egg to the pan, off the heat, mix it round so that it says, stays a nice sauce consistency. Then you can give it a wee quick blast before you serve it up. And then I just sprinkled over some of the extra Parmesan cheese and served it. I add a 
small bit of black pepper to add some more flavour but I did not add any salt again as we're trying to reduce our risk of diet related diseases. And there you have it. If you make it, make sure you send us in a photo.